Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Dynasty. What I got for y'all today is another Mortal Kombat 11 video. Gonna be jam packed with a bunch of news about MK11, courtesy of an Italian GameStop. They kind of spilled the beans and gave us a ton of new things about MK11 for the longest time. All we really had was, oh, MK11, custom character variations, and that was it. But now this new update gives us a lot of details about MK11 and customization. Also, an update for you guys who are fans of the MKX comics. It turns out, MK11 comics are not going to be a thing. Also, a statement from another studio's employee that said every move you saw inside the trailer can be performed in this game itself. That's pretty crazy. And lastly, did the intros for Sub-Zero and Raiden back inside of Injustice 2 give us some insight already of the Mortal Kombat 11 story? It seems like they might have. So again, gonna be a jam-packed video for you guys. So with that said, let's break all of this down and let's get into it. So first things first, the initial American GameStop under product details for Mortal Kombat 11 said this, spam. The all new custom character variations give you unprecedented control to customize the fighters and make them your own. And that was essentially, that was, you know, the one statement that was everywhere on press releases, on pre-order pages, like that was all we had to work with. But thankfully, just hot off the wire about an hour ago, the Italian version of GameStop just, uh, they spilled the beans again. They, they, they might have made a boo-boo here because this right here, BAM! For starters, was implemented inside the pre-order section of their game. You can see Shao Kahn in full effect. He looks amazing. Look at the hammer. There's a Mortal Kombat dragon on the hammer. His gear looks sick. That color scheme looks amazing. I'm just saying, man, this is probably the coolest looking version of Shao Kahn we've ever seen before. He doesn't look weird at all in comparison to the Shao Kahn we see at the end of the actual announcement trailer. This looks like the Shao Kahn of old, so I guess, I'm, you know... A look at what he might look like when you do use your customization options for him in MK11. He just looks so sick. And uh, speaking of customization options, here's what the actual GameStop article says from this Italian website. Bam! Mortal Kombat is back and is more fit than ever in this new fantastic evolution of the iconic title. Now you can customize the variants of your fighters down to the smallest detail, gaining unprecedented control over the aesthetics of the character. The new graphic engine renders in the smallest details every crushed skull and torn heart, immersing yourself completely in the action of the most bloody scenes. In addition, the new list of fighters includes unpublished characters and classic series characters, protagonists of fantastic footage, and the story mode of the epic saga that has continued for more than 25 years. So again, more or less pretty much exactly what was said, but giving us the confirmation that indeed you can customize not only the variation, but the actual aesthetics of the character. Now moving on to the contents of what you get when actually pre order the game. BAM! Says new game engine with even more bloody and bloody scenes. New customization system with clothes, accessories, and movesets never seen before. New fatality as well as new Gore-Tex system to make the executions even more brutal. Strong multiplayer component fully oriented towards the esports personalization systems. Daily news. Constantly updated rewards and improved matchmaking, additional contents, the premium edition includes a still case and the combat pass or the combat pack, six characters and six battle passes. So again, a lot of this stuff has never even been mentioned before, but thankfully this is hot off the wire. If you guys want to read the full thing, a link down below to the website, you can see it yourself. Just translate it and you'll be good to go. But there is a lot to take in from there. For starters, again, a new game engine, which we all pretty much assume was happening, but new customization system, including clothes, accessories, and movesets. So not only do you customize the moveset of your character, but the clothing and accessories. I'm guessing accessories might be like Injustice 2 where he had like abilities, I'm guessing, but that's insane to think just how in-depth you're going to be able to customize your characters. New fatality as well as new Gore-Tex system, that kind of scares me because... This might be a repeat of Create a Fatality dating back to Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I'm hoping this is something simply lost in translation because if we have to create our own fatalities, we've seen it once and it was not the best, you know, thing that Netherrealm's come up with in the past. Midway back then, their tagline and their gimmick for MK Armageddon was simply just Create a Fatality mode. And the idea seemed amazing, but the actual product we got, the end result, it kind of missed the mark, and I, that's why I'm a little nervous about this, because 
I just don't want it to flop <laughs> if this is a full-fledged like create your own fatality system again I, I do have faith in netherrealm studios. I have faith in Ed Boon the guys there I, I can't see them doing it again and it just being as bad as it was in Mortal Kombat Armageddon I don't even want to say it was bad because me personally. I didn't mind it too much I still enjoy it to this day But I know a lot of people that were kind of bummed because they just miss having at least one or two fatalities, knowing the combination, then boom, you were set. They kind of hate the whole approach of, oh, every fatality did look the same, essentially, because up, up, circle removes your opponent's arm. Down, down, triangle removes their neck. You see what I'm trying to say? So every fatality, as unique as they said it was going to be, was kind of the same because everybody did the exact same thing. So I think if this is a full-fledged create your own fatality, it's not going to be as forgettable as it was in Armageddon. So if it is, okay, just, just be, just, I promise, guys, it won't suck. Now... The additional content's not really too surprising, a still case, you know, that's kind of standard these days with every $100 version of the game. But the combat pack having six characters and six battle passes, six characters in comparison to like four, that's kind of a big deal. So I, in total, if there is a combat pack 2 DLC, we'll have 12 characters with 12 battle passes. That is sick. That's going to be a bunch of DLC and content to support the game after launch. So I'm looking forward to that. It's kind of... It's got me kind of stoked. Now, these battle passes, what are these battle passes? Maybe like armor packs, I'm guessing? It's probably like armor packs. I'm assuming that's what it is, or these battle passes are just like loot boxes for us to unlock these, you know, customization gear options. So I'm guessing that's what, you know, the word we're using, battle passes. I'm sure in the next few weeks, we're going to see exactly what these things are. So again, don't sweat it too much. Just be patient and we're going to have more details really soon. Moving on to the Mortal Kombat 11 comics, of course, up to the release of Mortal Kombat X, we were seeing the MKX comics dropped by Sean Kittleson, who worked on them. They were a great addition to the franchise because they kind of filled the void between Mortal Kombat 9 story and the start of the Mortal Kombat X story. It was kind of like, oh, while we were away, read the comics and you know exactly what's going on. So a lot of you guys, including myself, were looking forward to hopefully see like a Mortal Kombat 11 comic to fill us in on everything that's going on from Mortal Kombat X to Mortal Kombat 11. But Sean Kittleson kind of confirmed that indeed there's not going to be a Mortal Kombat 11 comic. He said this right here. Bam. When asked about the comic coming back, he said, sadly, no, but the comics still matter. They won't be forgotten. So this is kind of a bummer because it's not going to be there. And it's just extra content to get us hyped for MK11. He did go on to say in another tweet that he was working on Mortal Kombat 11 itself. So I guess that's a good thing for him, <laughs> kind of like a bad thing for us. And does this mean then that essentially MK11 takes place immediately after Mortal Kombat X in terms of like the story? Because... There's not going to be a void there. There's no comics, right? Maybe that's why there's not any more comics because it takes place literally right after the events of MKX. That would kind of make some sense. So there you go. Some more details about the story just possibly occurring right after the last scene we see where Shinnok's face gets thrown to the new Deadly Alliance, Katana, and Liu Kang. I'm guessing that might be the reason why there's not going to be a new comic book franchise series for MK11. But regardless, it's not happening and that does suck. Moving on to the next thing I want to discuss really quickly for you guys that I think is worth noting. So a senior UI artist currently working at Other Studios came out and said this on his Twitter account. Bam! Here's the thing about the MK11 trailer. You guys are going to be shocked how accurate it is, both in terms of visuals and gameplay. The game looks unbelievable, and nearly every move you see in the trailer is a real move from the game. January 17th is not too far, so that is insane to think that every, you know, move more or less that we saw in the trailer can be performed in the actual game's gameplay. That's, that's insane, guys. You throw on the fact that we'll be able to customize our character movesets, apparently. That's, I cannot wait. I'm so stoked for this. So again, this is coming from somebody who's actually currently working on the game as we speak. Now, the last thing I got for you guys today are some intros from Injustice 2 with Mirror Match Raiden and Mirror Match Sub-Zero. It seems like NRS was probably teasing the story for MK11 even before MK11 was announced. Check out the intros right here. There should not be two of us. Our realm splintered timelines are merging. We must battle to save them both. In my realm, Liu Kang and Katana rule Idinia. In mine, they govern the Nether Realm. Whose incompetence led to this falling? Even back then, when these characters dropped and these intros were discovered and seen, 
a lot of us were just, okay, well, it could be Mortal Kombat 11, but it does fit the whole multiverse aspect of Injustice 2, so didn't really think much of it, but now that's confirmed, time bending will be in the story. Maybe this Revenant version of Luke Kane and Katana does meet a new version of their old selves that are ruling Adenio and, and some other timeline. Maybe not the timeline we know and love, but another timeline out there. Maybe this new character is grabbing just several different universes, several different timelines, and they're all going to emerge into one. Maybe it's not just one, two, but three, four, five versions of characters at times. I don't know. This is insane. I'm just really looking forward to seeing exactly what the story has in store for us, but I think it was worth noting to at least show you guys what do you think of these intros now that we know that time bending is confirmed to play a major role inside of MK11. But guys, that is all I got for y'all today. If you did happen to enjoy the video, please take one second and drop a like on it. Of course, subscribe for some more MK11 content. Until next time, I've been your host. I've been Dynasty. You guys take care. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. One of the greatest You deserve more exposure Man, you underrated To all the dynasty haters Promise you'll love them later Y'all gonna react like he did When he seen the trailer But hold up Let me hit y'all with a twist Wait, I'm Sub-Zero The rap game is the Lin Kuei You see, I've been a fan of dynasty For years now GTA, MK, and Justice I'm still down